The award-winning cinematographer Richard Blanchard started his photographic career shooting stills before long working on the set of feature films and in television shooting publicity images and behind-the-scenes films. Today he works primarily as a film director and director of photography, mainly in documentaries, and through all this time has encountered Fuji for a variety of professional reasons. I always loved the look of Fuji film and I used to use it a lot. Many cameras today enable us to be both a photographer and a filmmaker. On my productions, I'm asked to use many types of digital video cameras, and Fuji Optics have helped me to create some great moments. Essentially, we're all storytellers, and sometimes we need different tools to tell those stories. When I heard about the X-T2 camera and its 4K ability, I wanted to see if it would work in my world. So I asked Fuji if I could borrow an X-T2. Fuji said yes, as long as I would give them my honest opinion about the camera, what I liked and what I didn't like, and what they could improve. People often ask why shoot 4K? Well, apart from the quality, it also enables you to make more choices in your post, to reframe and punch in with no loss of quality. This is a perfect situation, totally controlled. I lit this with continuous lighting and the camera is on a movie tripod. I'm looking for flesh tones and how the camera will deal with this. Digital cameras can be unforgiving, especially on women. This could easily be my second camera on a lit interview. OK, time to go shoot from the hip. Discrete filming, a basic camera, totally handheld with the standard camera look. I often need to work low profile and taking a large video camera into this situation wouldn't be an option. The camera's really holding up well here to a lot of mixed light and even with no additional stabilisation, this is really usable. The size of this camera enables me to react quickly and capture a moment if I see something. On a full-size digital video camera, unless the camera is running, it has to be booted up and this can take up to 30 seconds. With the X-T2, it's a couple of seconds and you're shooting. Strong backlight or shooting against sky tells me a lot about a camera's ability to hold on to information. Often digital cameras try to add detail in these kind of shots and we get a fringing effect, but these are really clean and natural. Here I want to simulate what could be part of an opening title sequence for a film, totally handheld and on a longer lens. I'm really pleased with what I shot. Once again, it doesn't feel like video. It has a film-like quality. I showed this footage to some fellow DOPs and they said it looked like the Fuji motion picture film they remembered. Shooting in low light and candlelight and night shooting is always a great test for both cameras and lenses. So I lit this book purely with a single candle. There's no fringing and no noise. I have to say the X-T2 is a powerful and impressive tool and the material it produces holds up really well. This is how the camera deals with London at night, and you get what you see. The way that digital cameras handle nature's colours is always important to me. So here is a typical scene. Often the colour green can become electronic looking. There are many textures here, and a lot of information for a lens to capture. And yes, I did go back to Fuji with some thoughts and suggestions of how the camera could be better. What I really liked was that Fuji listened and actually some of my thoughts will be coming to you in the next firmware upgrades.